Hello YouTube, PC be here again. Today I'm going to show you how to get Sourceful Maker and start using it. I'm going to show you first by starting how to download Sourceful Maker if you don't have it already. I'm going to show you how to set up a scene. I'm going to show you how to make Sourceful Maker your own. I'm going to show you the navigations. I'm going to give you an introduction to all the main tabs you can use. I'm going to show you all. I'm going to show you how to load a map. I'm going to also show you how to load characters and weapons, etc. I'm going to also show you how to use the movement and selecting tools. If you want to skip to any part in the video, just click on the topics uh, right in front of you, or you can always go in the description and always change it. Okay, let's get started. So, if you don't have Steam already, you need to use Steam to get to get Social Maker. So, open up your browser, go to Google, or Steam, and then type in Steam. Go click on the first link that says store.steampower.com. Click on it, click on install Steam, and click on install. I already have it, so I'm going to install it. After you have uh, Steam, just go to Steam, just open up your Steam file, go in the search box and search up Social Maker and click on it. I, I already have it installed, so you don't have to, I I'm not going to install it, but if you don't have it already, just click on uh, Play Game and it's going to install it for you. After installing Open Social Maker, it's going to take some time to open yours, it's not going to take me that much time. Okay, so here we have it open. Now I showed you how to get Social Maker if you don't have it already. Now I'm gonna show you how to set up a scene. So here is the session menu, session tab. First, if you wanna make a new session, just name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it Twit. I'm gonna make it in a personal file. I have it. It's my um, custom directory. You can always change the directory by going to browse and selecting anything you want, and then click on choose. It will give you a default directory in the Steam folder. Choose the frame rate to 24 and click on create. After you're created, now we're done with that. I'm going to show you all the uh, how to make it your own. So, now th this is the basic menu, basic part you'll get of Social Maker. This is how it's going to look like. If you want to change the style it looks like, just go to Windows, click on Layouts. Now, right now, it's going to be in default. Uh, you can just go here and click on Clip Editing. There's a lot of stuff from uh, motion editing to keyframing, scan editing, and there's some custom uh, layers. Don't worry about that. Just uh, go to default. I like that one because that's more um, it's more efficient than any others. If you want to add another window, just click go on uh, Windows and click on like a script. If you're in the script editor, just uh, click on it and just take it to wherever you wanted to and just put it there. It's not that hard. It'll be really easy to get to. Okay. So after that, I'm gonna show you how to uh, do the navigation but before that I'm gonna um, give you introduction to all the tabs and I'm gonna show you how to load a map and then I'm gonna show you the navigation okay so introduction to all the tabs the main tabs you're ever gonna use in Social Maker are gonna be the viewport the uh, animation set editor element viewer the timeline someone or sometimes you, if you're doing complex animation you might use secondary viewport just go to windows and then click on secondary viewport and here you have it opened so what these viewports what a viewport is is that you can see your camera there you can move around and do whatever you want the timeline is where you animate stuff I'm gonna go over all the tabs in another video because I don't want this video to be too big the animation set editor is where you will uh, manage all your models and everything like that and the Element Viewer is where you will change your names and whatever you want to do, like make them, give them an invisible look, everything from that to deleting a bone of a character. Okay. Now, so that's done. Now let me show you how to load a map. To load a map, let me just close this first. To load a map, all you can do, the easiest way would be just go in the blank space where it says view, primary viewport. I'm just gonna close this. So uh, go in primary viewport and then right click uh, in the blank space and click on load map. You'll have all kinds of maps from TF2 to Half-Life 2 and Left 4 Dead and another uh, some any uh, almost any almost every sorry about that almost every uh, Valve games. Okay, so you can you be in all mods to get get all the maps, or you can just switch to Left 4 Dead, to Team Fortress 2, and anything like that. I like to stay in uh, all mods. So now I'm going to show you how to load a map. So just uh, search in your name, 
uh, you like two fort, so I can just search in two fort. You can add custom maps. I'm going to show you how to do how to add custom in um, another tutorial, so don't worry about that. So you can do that, or you can uh, there's another way. You can just go on file and click load map. When you click load map, it's going to be the same thing. So let's load uh, two fort. I'm going to come back after this is loaded. Okay, so now this is loaded. So um, I'm going to uh, give you a brief tutorial on how to navigate in here. So you have four navigation uh, so, um, sorry tools. First one select, then smooth, rotate, and screen. We have to, we can use um, any of them, but the ones you're going to use mostly would be the move tool, the rotate tool, and the screen tool. Okay. So um, in the viewport, when you click here, you can just scroll up, like you can move around in here, but you have to hold in the, um, sorry about that, in the um, viewport to move. Okay, so um, before I do anything uh, into a basic character movement, I'm going to show you how to move front, back, side, uh, front, back, the sides, and how to rotate. Okay, let's get started. So, if you click W and hold left mouse, it's in the screen. It's gonna go in the front. If you click, if you hold left uh, mouse and click S, it's gonna go back. If you hold left mouse and click W, uh, sorry about that. Uh, if you click D, it, you're gonna go on the right. And if you click L by holding the um, uh, left mouse button, it will take you to the left. Okay, so it's W for forward, S for backwards, D for right, and A for left. Okay, so after that, I'm gonna show you how to rotate. Just click, just hold R and move any side you want to, and this is the rotation. Uh, rotation is not that important, or it will be important only like when you're making some, uh, like some I guess rotating uh, movements and some animation. So yeah, um, the basic are just W S A and D. It's basically like any video game you've ever played, any 3D video game you've ever played. Just move and stuff. So yeah, after that, I'm going to show you how to load characters and weapons, etc. So, to load a weapon or a character, go to the animation set editor, right click, and th you'll have a couple of options. The first one is create animation set for a new camera. I'm going to show you how to make a new camera uh, in about a minute. But before that, I'm going to go through all of this. A new camera, is you can, the, the, there are two types of cameras. A real camera and a work camera. A work camera is basically a camera in which you can animate stuff you can't actually make it like a real camera like move it and animate it okay you can only move a real camera okay so um when you right click it's going to give you an option for create animation set for new light and that's adding lights i'm going to go on that in another tutorial okay then there's something called create animation set for mo new model this is what we're going to use in this tutorial but um, let me go over these Create animation set for new particle system is just adding unusual effects or any type of ex effects and source form maker. Okay, then there's something uh, that says create animation set for existing element. So if you record like a uh, scene and something animating it, you can just right click and click on uh, create animation set for existing element, and uh, it will give you uh, like an option of who you want to pick. So I'm gonna just uh, show you how to do it. Mm -hmm. Uh, while hovering over here, click F11. It's gonna get you into something like, um, like a re TF2. But no one is playing and no one is doing nothing. Okay, so feel free to move around and do whatever you want. It's it's everything like Team Fortress 2, except when you click N, it will take you to no clip mode. So no clip mode is you can just fly around without doing anything. Okay. Um, now. So um, let me animate the character and show you how to use the existing element. So F11 again to go out of that. Now click on, after the play button, there's this button. That's the record button. When you click on it, it gives you this option. Now choose everything you want. You can do effects, props, like everything in there you can choose from there. Then you can switch from third person to first person, okay? And when you click record, it's going to open this. You're going to hear three sounds like this. Okay? And when this out, just go run as much as you can or wherever you want it to, I guess. Okay. And and then if you're done animating, just left cl uh, click F11. So now 
if we switch to the camera, that's my P Chevy camera, when I click on it, it he's gonna run. Just like that. So let's, let's just finish this. So that's it, okay? So um now if you go uh here and click on uh, uh, create animation set for existing element, it's gonna give you all of this. It means there are all the models there are. Um, you can pick that. So uh, we have scout here, okay? So when you click on uh, player uh, models, player HWM scout, uh, you have to choose this, okay? It will pop up here, and when you click OK, it will come up here. And now um, I'm just, I'm not gonna animate it, but I'm just gonna show you how to do. Uh, I'm just gonna do a brief example of how uh, how to doing it. But I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna um, show you that you could do it if you wanted to. Yeah, you can switch in any character you want, but base uh, the normal character would be a scout. So I can do anything like move his hand or whatever, do whatever I want to. So yeah, let me undo everything I did here. The animation, okay. So um, now we're gonna load a, a model. So let's right click here and click on create animation set for new model. And um, click on MLD files. Everything it also has um. All mods, user mod, TF, TF movies, TF Left 4 Dead, and everything like that. Okay, I'm gonna also show you how to add custom models in here. So now, um, we're gonna add a scout. You, you can add any character you want to, and that's in TF2 or any other game. But for TF2, there are two types of uh, player files. First of them is called player, and the second one is called HWM. The best one you could use would be HWM because they're similar, like everything they have is the same, except that HWM has lip sync. And lip sync is that um, whenever you make a character say something, it will make him look like he's saying it. But a player uh, player model would not do that. So um, I'm going to show you an example of how um, I'm going to show you how to search up a player model just for idle so you, you don't want the model to see anything. Or I'm gonna show you how to um, get a scout. Okay, so um, let's just search up player backslash 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 is um, on the um, bottom of ba uh, backspace. So when you uh, do that player um, backslash, you get all these. Don't worry about that. Just search up um, if you want the demo. Just search up demo, and it's gonna show you the first thing there. Then uh, you can. Start with that. Um, just, uh, search up. I don't know. Sniper. Scout. Spy. Heavy. Sorry about that. Oh my god. Heavy. Medic. Engineer. And yeah. Okay. So um, play models. Don't not use them unless or until you're not doing any um, you're not doing any uh, lip sync. Okay, so this is what every almost every sort of filmmaker um, animator use. S search HWM and black backslash. Sorry, and uh, I have a lot of extra characters. So all you're gonna see is spy, soldier, spy.mdl, soldier.mdl, sniper.mdl, scout.mdl, pirate.mdl, medic.mdl, heavy.mdl, engineer.mdl, and demo.mdl. Okay, that's all you're gonna see. So um, let's load a um, scout and let's click on open. It's gonna load it to where your camera is. So that's our camera right there. Um, and now um, I can't actually move this camera, so I'm just gonna um, go uh, click the square button, uh, sorry the triangle button right next to the camera name, and click on uh, go and change uh, scene, uh, scene camera. Sorry, click on new camera. It's gonna give you a new camera. Okay, so now you can move this camera. I'm gonna go in depth in another tutorial how to do animating with the camera. So um, here's the scout. I'm not gonna show you anything except uh, how to move it. So to move it, you you have to use you could use um, the graphic editor or the motion editor. I prefer using the motion editor or moving it. Okay. So now just uh, go here and click on the scout. The first thing you'll be pop up with would be the move tool. The move tool can move it backwards, upwards, left and right. When you hold that, you can move them any way you want it to. 
And if you do this, you can only move them left and right and up and down. You can't move them back and forth, okay? Um, so, yeah. Then, you can uh, go here and choose the rotate tool, which will rotate him any way you want to. And it will also rotate individual parts. To select a part, just hold control and scroll over one and click it, okay? And now, um, you can just move it like that. It's not complicated at all. Uh, then, the screen tool. The screen tool um, is one of the main tools there is. Uh, because it gives you some pretty good animation. Okay, so um, the screen tool is really important because it has a uh, pivot point. What the pivot point does is, if you, uh, this is the root target, I mean, sorry, it's called the root transform. And if you have the root transform, you can move it, him anywhere you want it, okay? So the root transform is, if you use this pivot, just, uh, if you go on this uh, part, you can move it wherever you want. So, if I choose, if I change my bone, and if I go back here, it's going to show it up here. So that's pretty cool because you can change the pivot if it's bugging you. But I'm just going to bring it back in the middle of where, where it was. Okay. Um, I'm going to uh, tell you all the shortcuts for uh, switching back and forth. If you click Q, it's going to move you to the selection tool. The selection tool is nothing. I don't know why they put it there. Then you choose W, it will get you to the move tool, okay? If you choose, um, sorry, um, if you choose E, it will get you to the rotate tool. And then if you choose R, it's going to get you to the uh, screen tool. So again, it's Q, W, E, R. Q, W, E, and R, okay? So you can switch back and forth there. Um, now to add a um, wep uh, weapon, just right click here again, click on an create animation set for a new model, and then search up, I'm going to use the scatter gun, scatter gun, and I'm going to uh, see the last thing, and that's what I want, there are two types, but I'm going to use this, and click open, and here, uh, I'm just going to um, move it a little bit there, okay, I'm not going to give it to him, but just put it there, okay, um, so, uh, that's basically um, what you can do for moving. There's nothing much in there. Just choose it and move it however you want. Okay. So um, now one more thing is that if you have a bone and you can't select it from here, like it's really hard for to select. Just open. Just click the plus button and then click on the plus button right next to it. So I'm gonna choose the root transform. So it's right here. And now I have a root transform. So I can move him wherever I want. Okay. So that's it. Um for the navigation and our last part well there's nothing else left so um thank you for watching this video um i th i'm gonna make a series on sfm it's gonna be a big series so um it might have videos as big as 50 minutes to videos as small as only seven minutes. I don't think there would be any smaller than that. So yeah, um, subscribe to my channel to get. Um, I'm gonna make a video every week, or probably try my best to make it uh, every three days. At how much time I go to school. So um, and it's the final week before Christmas. So yes, um, uh, subscribe to my channel, and you will have access to all my the whole series and this series might have 20 to even 50 videos because I'm gonna go in depth in every part of social maker and show you how to animate a movie and get ready to be a social maker and a, okay I guess you can call it a SFM. yeah so um again thanks for watching I will see you next time